Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you how to install the official LB95 ROM uh, that will give you features from Galaxy S5, and Note 4, Note 5, and Galaxy S6. So, you know, you get all the latest things from those awesome phones. So, uh, let me just show you here. Uh, as you can see here, this is my Galaxy Note 5. So, you get these type of uh, UI, these rounded shape icons, you get a theme engine. I mean, you get a ton of stuff for your S4. Um, this is a custom ROM, of course. Make sure you have a root access. Make sure your phone is rooted, have custom recovery installed. I was using an Imperial custom ROM uh, that I planned uh, previously to do the review on, but still, I couldn't find the time to do that. But yeah, this ROM is definitely uh, ROM, a ROM that I should have to review because it's worth it. And uh, let's just uh, do install this ROM here. So before installation, I recommend that you should do a a backup uh, by going here. Of course, if you will install TWRP recovery, so you can go to make a backup. Or uh, of course, after making the backup, first you have to do a wipe data factory reset. This will going to erase uh, everything from your phone. So make sure that you make a backup before that, and then click install. Uh, this is the ROM, LB95 Lolly ROM 6.0 version. And I'm just going to swipe confirm to flash. Uh, so I think it has its own aroma installer type of thing. It's going to give me some UI type of thing, uh, maybe, but we're just going to wait for it a little bit. So I'm just going to skip the installation. I'll be back when it's done. All right, guys, I'm back and it's done. And let's see here. It says first boot takes more than 15 minutes. So that's a lot of time, but I think it's worth waiting. We're just going to quickly <coughs> reboot into system. And let's see how it's uh, boot up logo and all that stuff will look like. Let's see. So this is the uh, i9-505, the Snapdragon variant. Uh, I, I think like this is the international Galaxy S4 variant. So, I mean S4, S3, S5, uh, not S3, but S4, S5, they, they, they have still a really awesome sport. I mean, S3 also has a really awesome sport, but not as strong as what we have with the S4. And S5 and other phones so uh, yeah I'm just gonna skip that also and uh, we'll be back when it will be done booting up all right guys it's done and what do we have here Deliano no I'll speak English I'll speak English where is English okay Hindi P Netherland E E O oh. So let's just click next skip it of course if you want to insert sim card then it's just your choice and also I'm just gonna click next I understand and agree no thanks date and time blah 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 more next uh, I'm just gonna skip this one and as you can see it's, uh, it's gonna give you these features like S beam air view air gesture smart stay voice control all that if you want to turn them on it's your choice I'm just gonna remain uh, them off uh, just for the moment so have it on the default option so here we go oh my god looks like a you know, with this UI, it looks like a plastic Galaxy S6. I'm not kidding. I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of features with the Note 5 and S6 to just show you guys a little bit more in detail how it looks like. So, wow, it's looking very much similar to S6 UI. Uh, as you can see on the top. So, uh, for the full review, head over to my channel and watch that video. And I'll be posting that pretty soon. 
and by the time this video will be uploaded that video will also going to be uploaded so make sure you watch it on my channel and if you are stuck at some point if you want to need my help then just comment down below and yeah this is currently one of the most best uh samsung's uh samsung firmware based roms that you can try out on your samsung galaxy s4 so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace out